Hello, everybody. It's Larry, and uh, I don't know why, but I say that every time, and I just feel like shouting out, good morning, Vietnam, or some kind of Robin Williams thing at the beginning of these things. But anyway, uh, no, uh, I'm done. I've got my tree completely finished, uh, all the research completely organized, said no genealogist ever. <laughs> Genealogists were the only people that believed taking a step backwards is progress. All right, so I thought I'd throw in a few bad puns there to uh, kind of lighten the mood here because I'm going to have to apologize uh, for this video because it is really good and I'm about to screw up <laughs> Father's Day weekend for a lot of families. And so I thought that I'd lighten the mood and, and just get you in a good mood so I could apologize for that, but it's going to happen. This is some really good stuff. You're going to want it. And uh, once you get a hold of this, uh, I, I know for a fact I'm going to mess up some, some weekends for some people because they're going to be doing research hardcore this weekend. Anyway, so here we go. And what we start with is the U.S. State Research Guides. And for those of you outside the United States, don't worry, we got some good stuff for you too in this video. But right here, this is an absolute treasure of information that Ancestry has compiled. And like the documents and forms, you may have been a long-term subscriber to Ancestry and have never seen this page. It's not available from any of the menu links. It never has been. So you have to know where it's at. And I'm going to put the link down in the video uh, description below. But let's look at what this thing can actually do. So we'll start off. You notice the bigger cursor. Uh, changed it to bigger cursor in black for those that requested that. You see Alabama. We're going to start with Alabama. And we come over here. And we'll look at the research guide. Now, this one's five pages long. They're typically four or five pages. And they'll start with giving a brief history of the state. You know, a little one-page synopsis of the state. But that's not the best part. And then it talks about the census records. It talks about what's available on Ancestry. gives you some population. And then it goes into what's available not just on Ancestry. Like, here's the Cherokee muster rolls. Uh, Alabama Department of Health, it gives records that are both on Ancestry and not on Ancestry. Okay, so everything that is pertinent to that state that Ancestry has is linked in here. Also, it has many of the key sources that are not on Ancestry. So you can go to your state that you're researching, whether it be for a particular ancestor or current, and go to the state list over here, pick your state out of the list, and you're going to get this information. So as we go through here, we've got the Alabama military records, immigration records, other collections, uh, help and advice, any the county information, and you know, uh, just statewide resources. And it's like this for all of the states. I mean, really, all of them. And then, this is a nice little nugget, and all the states have it, and it's a history of the United States, or excuse me, a history of each of the states in the United States, uh, significant dates through 1944. It says, 1519, Spanish explorers explored the Gulf of Mexico, and it just talks about, you know, the kind of the timeline chronologically for Alabama, and it's not just Alabama, so if I go over and uh, let's say that, you know, I live in uh, Texas, so we want to go and look at the one from Texas. So we select Texas from the map, and it gives us the same thing. Now, they're not always in the same order. Here are the significant dates is page 2 on the Alabama one is page 5. But it, Texas Vital Records, uh, you know, the resources that are on Ancestry, the resources outside of Ancestry. Uh, this is really, really handy. And for those that are asking about, you know, uh, ancestor information for African ancestors, uh, I'm going to quickly point out all the states in the South, this Texas voter registration list, 1867 through 69, they did it for three years, 67, 68, 69. Most of them did it for just 1867. You're going to want to look on those. So look in all the states. Uh, that is a treasure trove of information in and of itself. Uh, I have a full video you know, coming up on uh, how to research uh, for African ancestry, but uh, that's for a, a later episode. So here's for Oklahoma, and the same thing. You get, you know, here's the population growth, uh, external records, internal records. Uh, man, these are some great collections and, you know, references. I, the Oklahoma Historical Society in genealogical research pages, state archives, I've gone to those sites, and there's even link to the Dawes rolls. So 
anywhere in the United States, if you want to go to you know these and look up the Dawes rolls and find out if any of your ancestors are on the rolls, uh, you can do that and via the Oklahoma ones. These are some great collections. I mean, absolute great collections. And they're for every single state in the union. Every state. Even the ones that you know came along a lot later, like Hawaii. And it comes up, and it'll open as a PDF. And we come over here. And so, you know, it gives you a little synopsis of the history of Hawaii. And we're not going to read it here. It starts with the population. Yeah, 1805, 264, 1853, it was down to 73, 72, and the population went way down, okay, from 1831 to 1852, got all the places to do that, and get to the timeline, see what happened here. Uh, the traditions were changed, let's see, new Hawaiian constitution, uh, measles, whooping cough, kills one tenth of the native population. So, uh, some disease that, that came through there. So, for every single state in the Union, you have this index of everything that's on Ancestry and then index of everything that's not on Ancestry that they've compiled. Again, I'll put the link down in the video description below, but I, I tell you what, I really feel like i got to apologize because this is so good. If you're looking for any state, you know, that's good. And then, you know, just for the family histories, if you have family that's in that state and you look and you see what happened and, you know, they're in those years, you get to see exactly what was going on in their lives. So from the family story, the history, not the genealogical perspective, but the family history perspective, that is, this is an incredible resource. Uh, ancestry really should populate this at the menu level along with those forums you know <laughs> this is really good all right so what else is there well there's another one is the yearbooks and uh, I forwarded here I searched for my mother on there and so I just want to kind of do it again with you so I'll edit the search I put in Linda Wright my mother's maiden name and at first I put Oklahoma City because, you know, she went to high school in Oklahoma City and I was looking for a yearbook and it brought up nothing. So then I went and enlarged the search to the entire state of Oklahoma. And in doing that, I found her, but it said that it was in Tulsa of all places. So I was looking for the 1961 was her year and she went to John Marshall High School. It says uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Bear Tracks. Well, they were the John Marshall Bears. And so I looked at it, and sure enough, I could see my mom. She's right there in that picture right there. So I clicked on View, and there she is. There's my mother. Okay, she was in Pep Club for three years. And there's her twin brother, uh, my uncle. It uh, looks like he was in football, his uh, sophomore year choir, uh, in theater, uh, DE, parliamentarian. Okay, he was pretty active in the school. So there they are. That's my mother, and... Uh, that's my uncle. And I was able to get that from Ancestry. Now, I actually paid for the yearbook.com subscription and found some of this information. And so it's all on Ancestry. And so I felt a little silly after I found it there. But, you know, if it, the yearbooks from all around the U.S., they're there and from around the world. I told you that, you know, for those of you outside the U.S., there's stuff for you too. Uh, they are. So right here it says, uh, school list in your book, school directories and church histories. And, you know, these numbers are like 10 different catalogs. Uh, there's not as many, obviously, as in uh, North America, but there are significant catalogs. Now, for giggles and grins, I wanted to see what's the oldest one. So I did 1600s. I just wanted to see what would come up. And before the 1600s, it says right down here, it caught my eye, Cambridge University alumni, 1261. 1261 through 1900 and that's like I, I i gotta see this you know 1261 so i said okay 1275 and give me plus or minus 10 years and i just wanted to see what it would bring me up and looky here i've got uh, a few in here so we're gonna look at nigel it says md university benefactor founder of the university chaplaincy owned property in and about cambridge probably died 1279 Stokes Chaplin. So this got information all the way back to 1279 on Ancestry. Now, I used to be kind of a genealogical snob when it came back to people that had their genealogy 1500s, 1400s, 1300s, 
1200s. And my first thought is like, yeah, right. Uh, it's right there on Ancestry. And if you look hard enough and you happen to have the, the right family line, it is quite possible that you can document your family lines back that far. So the, you know, all Cambridge, that's just, that's just amazing. You know, you look at this information and some of them have a whole bunch of information uh, on the person. And lastly, uh, we'll talk about the card catalogs. They have enlarged the card catalog by 11 million plus records. Uh, you can see uh, Essex, England, uh, 4.3 million, 700,000, 1.9 million, 3.9 million. Uh, I mean, all of that, that's 11 million new records since the last time I updated, you know, the new records. That's quite a handful. So you have 11 million new records if you're, you know, looking in England. Uh, you have yearbooks literally from around the world as far back as the 1200s. That's, that's just insane. And then, you know, like I said, if you're in the United States, the, the yearbooks. Now, obviously not every yearbook's on there, but quite a few are. People donate their yearbooks and they get scanned in. And so, you know, my mother's yearbook was, was scanned in. And the greatest jewel in this one, I got to tell you, this U.S. State Research Guide, you could go to any state that you're researching and it could literally take you a week or more to go through all of the links and search for your ancestors and give it a real good search. It just, this right here is absolutely, I, I'm, again, I apologize to every father who's affected by your spouse jumping on the computer and spending all their time researching. Uh, I apologize in advance. Hopefully the two bad jokes at the beginning uh, made you laugh. If not, rewind it, watch the beginning, <laughs> listen with some humor, laugh again, and then accept my apologies. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm pretty darn sure you will. The, that This one is right up there next to clustering with my favorite as far as what it's going to be able to do for you. Anyway, so uh, that's what we have for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell notification to be notified when the next one comes out. And as always, I appreciate you all and thank you for listening.